Hey guys, my name is Marshall, and today I'm gonna to show you five workflow tips for the software that I use to organize and search my sound library, which is Pro Sound Effects SoundQ. Tip number one, spot to timeline. So I'm a Reaper user, and when I'm looking for a sound really quickly, I just like to highlight a variation that I like, and then hit S, spot to timeline, and it goes right to Reaper like that. The great thing is that you can do this with Pro Tools, Premiere, or even just a folder on your hard drive if you're collecting sounds for a project. Tip number two, you'll also see drag and drop in this window. And when you're not working in a DAW, drag and drop is an awesome way to bring specific parts of sounds over to other software. Like here, I may want to drag this specific part of a loop over to sound particles. Drag and drop makes that super fast. Tip number three, metadata. I can be just as lazy as the rest of us when it comes to metadata, but at the very least, I try to date whatever sounds I just designed for my library. So I'll quickly highlight, come over here in sound queue, and then put today's date. Then once the date is added, I just click and highlight all the sounds that I changed the metadata for and embed metadata for selected. You'll thank yourself later for staying on top of that. It's really nice to look through the year and see when you recorded what. Tip number four, I like to create visually recognizable icons for collections in SoundQ so that my eye is kind of drawn to them easily. Let's make my fire recordings red and I will give it a campfire icon and there we go. You could go even more minimal. I like to, for example, make the top level folders of my original sounds green and then my purchase library is blue just so I kind of know what I'm working from. And tip number five, I like to keep a collection called ear candy for when I hear a sound that I like but doesn't fit with the design I'm currently doing. So I'll target the ear candy collection by clicking this. And then anytime I hear something cool, all I've got to do is hit T and it's added to the collection. Within my ear candy collection, I like to color code things with tags. At a glance, I want to be able to tell what's what. So I use, for example, yellow for ambiences and then red for more explosion-y type gunshot sounds. But you do whatever you want. That was five of my favorite workflow tips for SoundQ. Go check it out.